Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can use trig functions on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do this we'll use the shift key that looks like this located here, the menu setup key that looks like this located here, the F1 key that looks like this located here, the exit key that looks like this located here, the sine, cos, and tan keys that look like this located across here, the right bracket key with the shift function of inverse that looks like this located here, and the S to D or conversion key that looks like this located here. When we're doing trig functions on this calculator, the first step is to make sure we're set to the right mode. These examples will be using degrees, so we want to be set to degrees mode. To do that, we press Shift Menu, which brings us to the Setup menu here. If we scroll down to Angle, we can set what we want to use. Right now, we're set to Radians. We can choose between degrees, radians, and gradients. Since we're working in degrees, we want to choose degrees, so we press F1. We see it now says DEG for degrees there, so we're set up, and we can exit out of that with the exit key. Starting off with the basics, if we just want to find sine, cos, or tan of a number, we use these keys here. For example, if we want to find sine of 30 degrees, we press sine 30 and then hit the exe and see we get a result of a fraction of 1 over 2 and if we want that in decimals we can hit the s to d key and convert that to a decimal of 0 0.5 and we can convert back and forth by hitting this key again. For cos, we do it the same way. If we want to find cos of 30 degrees, we hit cos 30 exe. And we see initially we get a fraction of square root of 3 over 2. And if we want to convert that to a decimal, again we hit the conversion or s to d key. And so we convert that to 0 0.8660, etc. And for tan, we do it the same way. So if we have tan of 30 degrees, we hit tan 30 exe. And we see we get a fraction initially of square root of 3 over 3, which we can convert to 0 0.57735, etc. Which, if we wanted to round, we could get 0 0.5774 rounded. We can also find the cosecant, secant, or cotangent with this calculator. To do that, we use the inverse of the corresponding function. For example, if we want to find the cosecant of 30 degrees, we use the inverse of sine. So for that example, cosecant of 30 degrees, we start with the sine of 30, hit the exe key, and there's that one half, and then we press shift, right bracket with the shift function of inverse so that we get the inverse of the previous answer and hit exe and we see we get a result of 2 which is correct. We can also use brackets if we want to do this all in one step rather than two. So to do that we would press bracket sine of 30 and then close our bracket and then press our shift inverse, there we go, and hit exe, and see we get the same answer of 2. For secant, we use cos. So if we want to find the secant of 30 degrees, let's use our brackets and press bracket, cos, 30, close our bracket, and then shift, inverse, and there we go, there's our result, which we can convert to a decimal with the S to D key, 
and get a decimal of 1.1547, etc. For a cotangent, we use tan. So again, let's use our brackets. Tan of 30, close our bracket, shift, inverse, there we go, BXE, and we get the cotangent of 30 degrees is the square root of 3, which again we can convert to decimals with the S to D key, and get a result of 1.7320, etc. We can also find arc sine, arc cos, and arc tan on this calculator. That's useful for going from the result backwards to find out how many degrees were used in our initial calculation. So if we want to find out how many degrees were used to get 0 0.5, we can use the shift sign, which gives us a sign with a minus 1, but note that's different from when we were doing cosecant, and then enter the 0 0.5 and hit exe and see we get 30 degrees. For the arc cos, again we press shift cos, there we go, and we'll use the rounded number here, we'll go 0 0.8660, and we see we get a result that would round to 30 degrees. If we want an exact number, we can use the arc cos of the square root of 3 over 2 that we got. So we go shift cos, there's our arc cos, and then we'll use brackets here. Square root of 3 divided by 2 exe gives us an exact result of 30 degrees. For arctan, again, shift tan, and then we'll use our rounded result of 0 0.5774 exe, and we get a result that would round to 30 degrees. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.